of mine is Daniel Michelle, and I'm a Paralympian from the sport of boccia. Boccia I was introduced to as a 15 year old at a come and try day. Uh, it was a sport that I'd never seen played before and um, growing up I'd always been looking for a sport that I could play. As a result of my disability I'd never found one uh, that I could engage in and uh, when I stumbled across boccia I realised straight away that it was a sport designed exactly for people like me and after that moment I kind of just uh, wanted to take it as far as I could. I spend a lot of my time training. I'm usually training at least four, maybe five days a week. Um, yeah, just trying to refine my art, obviously. Uh, and then outside of that, um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of um, off the court stuff, physio and, and game review. And in my spare time, I like to just sort of try and not think about butcher as much as I can and just chill out and, and take it easy. I live at the beach, so I like to get down to the beach and check out the water and walk my dog and stuff like that. So pretty chill with that lifestyle. We've got such an awesome team. South is actually my ramp operator. We've been working together for 10 years and we've travelled all over the world competing together, which is, you know, a relationship in Boccia that's so important. Uh, now I've got my coach, Ken, who's been with me also for the same amount of time, and uh, my two great teammates, Spencer and Jamison. Um, so, yeah, between the five of us and their respective ramp operators, we make a really amazing squad. And it's, it's always a pleasure to travel and compete alongside them. As a fairly, you know, um, not a uh, very recognised sport. We don't receive much in the way of uh, government money or, or corporate sponsorship. So, uh, you know, it falls on us as athletes often to fund our own trips. And uh, that's, a, that's a real stress um, for, for all of us. And for me, you know, I'm often having to come up with 5000 to $10,000 uh, a year or even more than that sometimes to fund my trips. And, um, you know, that takes away from, from uh, time I could be spending and energy I could be spending on training as well. So, to not have to worry about that would be massive.